Hello again, dear student. In this class, I want to proceed with the, our project, for, with our first project. So now, this our project, this is his status at the moment. We have a workflow here. So I want to style some um, something. Um, uh, but first of all, I want to I want to insert a uh, bootstrap uh, in our project. What is the bootstrap? I will show you. This is very, very useful. Bootstrap. This is the uh, the most popular library in the world. We we have here a lot of example. Uh, a, a lot of component. component. It's uh, almost. Uh, it's a perfect uh, component. HTML elements and. It saves a lot of a lot of work. I will show you how to use that. For first of all, uh, this is uh, our element to boost up. We, you see, we have a button, we have a drop down menu, uh, we have a, a lot of things that you can use absolutely free. For first of all, we must to insert a boost up in our project. This will save a lot of work. So I use boost up in, in all my project. I will go. I will go at the beginning, and here you you have a good introduction and quick start. You this is the way to use Bootstrap. So this is a starter template. You see, this is the basic HTML structure. So to use Bootstrap, we must to insert something, some link in our project. I will copy from here this. Will copy so I, I will copy this only this section okay uh, go to our project in the head action head tag and I will put it here okay make nice okay uh, so now after this uh, I will use another thing I will use another thing and go here and we'll Take this, these scripts. We don't talk talking about the scripts, the JavaScript. We don't talking about the jQuery script. Uh, but this this more advanced, and we're gonna make it in the some next of the, of the next videos. I will for now just I will copy and put it in our code here. This is the way to use Bootstrap. Okay, so I will put it down there. Okay, and we will make nice again. Okay, I will save. I will save, and to be sure to we insert the bootstrap uh, uh, right, we go to some components. Maybe this some button. Let's take this button element and put it in our code. I will put, I will put, just will put somewhere, I will put it here, okay, we'll save, and now I load the page, it's right here, it's working, that's nice, both up is working, everything is perfect, so now I will remove it, for now I will remove this, and it will continue with our website, <sighs> I will reload the page, we have a lot of work here, First of all, we must use insert some form family. We don't talk about form family. I will show you how to use. Uh, so here in the body tab, we will write font. I just smile for this. I will write font family family attribute. Okay. Uh, I will use this font for now. That's okay. I will copy this attribute and put in our pot in our first body. Okay, put here this attribute will save. And after this, after this, I want to use some color, cool color about this navigation bar. Uh, uh, make white, I think. No, I think it's cool. So 
we will put we will take this color and put it in our navigation class right here okay we'll save and we will load the page okay the result is okay so now i want to make this and this section so to, we must style this link we must style all thing here so let's um, use some logo picture uh, i want to show another very useful thing so okay and i from awesome.com yes this uh, very very cool website here we have a very free icon we can buy a license if you have for personal icon so first of all click here and want to use how you copy this link this only this what wait, wait minutes i will copy this can you just use this <laughs> and go to our website and in the head uh, i will put this link here okay okay i will make one comment here Front. okay so i will save it and go to our browser and we'll go we'll go here on icons and i want to use some icon maybe photography let's use this this i think it's cool we're gonna use it like something like global okay just copy this with here and put it in our website right here and we'll show you the result okay here is it this is our icon so now i want to style all this first of all first of all i want to use some cool color for this icon i will make a font size it's small 24px mm, 30, 32px it's bigger let's make it 30px oh, it's bigger let's make 20a 20 i think is cool 20a from and color what kind of color to use red purple <laughs> Blue, blue again, why uh, blue green? Hey, let's use some. Oh, it's nice, but let's use blue or just let's use this blue color. I think it's cool. I will copy now. Go to our browser in the style. Oh, first of all. We we have no class. We have a class, but don't uh, don't use this class. We are gonna mess something. So let's make an ID. This is alternative. You remember this? Uh, Low ID. Okay. Go to the star CSS. Go here. Use DS to call the ID. Low ID. Open curly brackets. Put here our of not talking in this way put here our color put here our, our font size 20 apx okay we will save now we load the page now oh, it's working perfect perfectly that's cool so i want to use this here we have a margin In our link, okay, margin. Or just let's make this first of all. Uh, navigation bar, 
we have a low band here. Yeah, in this class low band, I will first of all I will go here. What we have icon, we have a low text. Okay, let's put this low in some diff tag because we can we must uh, style it. We can do it without diff. So here I will make a class. I just will mm, just will style. Mm, I want to show this important. You must know from the beginning. So I will now we will load the page. You say you see uh, we have uh, two elements. I want to show you that this is very important. We have one div tag, one div tag with class logo brand, okay? Here we have one element, this is the icon, and another element, this is the text. So I want to put the text here, in the middle, next to the icon, okay? Like a logo. So to do that, here in the logo brand, I will put a display attribute, display. UI flex, okay. UI flex, okay. I will put, take this, go to the star CS, CSS, and go to go use this colors low brand, okay. Go here, star CSS, low brand, okay. Open curly brackets, put the style attribute. We'll save now. We'll save. They load the page. Everything working, but it's, this text is not in the middle. You see this. So to do that, I think there is a few way. The fast and easiest is to here make a margin of 5px. No, it's big. 4px, okay, and margin left, 5px, now it's perfect, okay, I will put this copy um, here, oops, I will make a new class here, class, uh, Low text, okay. Just wait for a minute. Okay. Low text, and we'll go to the style CSS. Put here this class. Low text, and we will put here this attribute. Okay. We'll save. Reload the page. Now everything works perfect. So let's see what to do here. We have a div element, div, 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 div. We have a class here. Here is no class. Okay. So if I go here. I will put this one here. Cool. We'll save and load the page. And now in the wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh, this is this class, okay. Now it's here. Okay. So go here. In the link now. We'll put them again. Up, I think. MPX. It's big. Let's make 5px. Big. 3px. Hmm. 4px. I think 4px is cool. Okay. For now. So I will copy this. Go to style CSS. 
here we'll put this value okay now i will make a color here the color must be like this color this color is the image color or white color you remember so i will put the paste here they load the page so now now everything working the call is not changed because this is anchor attack to it we must change from another another way so let's uh, let's start our anchor attack how to do that go to the style css and here i will open anchor attack okay this will style every all anchor attack in the our project with this color okay Reload the page. It worked perfectly. After this, I will show how to how to change the hover color and active color, and this will remove this line here on the line. I will show you everything. But first of all, I think for now, for this video, I will save it, uh, and I will show another thing in the next video. Okay.